Thanks for watching this C Logic video on using the Lead Import tool. The Lead Import tool allows you to import simple data into the leads area of SalesLogix. This data may be a purchase list or a list you have exported from another system. Be aware that the data you can import is only what is known as one to one data, i.e., one person linked to one company with singular pieces of information linked to them. More complicated data imports would require further investigation. Let's pretend that we have bought a list of leads that we want to import into SalesLogix. The first step is to configure the spreadsheet correctly and save it as a comma separated value or CSV file. You will notice from the example here that I have given each column a header and it is a good idea to check the lead screen in SalesLogix to see the sort of data you can import. I have straightforward name, address and email type fields but note the name field is in the format last name then first name. I have also saved my file to a handy location ready to do my import. Let's go back to SalesLogix and carry out the import. First, go to the Leads Area List View. This is not absolutely crucial, but helps you check results. We have 21 leads in, in my All Leads group. Now click on the Import Leads Toolbar button, or click Insert Stroke Import Leads. The first thing to do is to browse and select your lead file. Having done that, the Import Leads preview box will pop up and you can specify what delimiter separates the fields. As we are importing from a CSV file, the system has recognised that it is comma separated. As we have the column headers in our spreadsheet, ensure the first row contains field names checkbox is also ticked. Now check that the preview looks correct. When happy that you've checked the preview data, click OK and you are back to the import lead screen and we now have to check and specify our field mappings from the CSV file to SalesLogix. The beauty of the system is that it does most of the mappings for you based on the column headers you put in your spreadsheet and these are shown in the lower box called matching fields. First check that you are happy these mappings are correct. If you are not happy, you can highlight a line and click Unmatch and then specify the mapping you require, which we will look at next. To specify particular mappings, we use the top two boxes. SalesLogix has not been able to map the fields here as they don't specifically match the SalesLogix fields here. Simply highlight the field on the left and map to the correct field on the right and click Match. The name field in our spreadsheet, in this instance, needs to be mapped to last name, first name. Note that SalesLogix does have a best guess at mapping the field for you, and you can only import into the fields on the right of the screen. Once you have finished mapping your fields, you can specify a default owner and also a default lead source that you may have set up previously so that you can slice and dice your imported data based on lead source. If you are going to do regular imports of data from a spreadsheet that is formatted in exactly the same way, you can save your work as an import template and then use that template for future imports and all the work will be done for you. Note also that the Help button can guide you as you do the import. Once you are happy that you have got everything set up correctly, simply click Import. Upon completion of the import, you can choose to view an import, import log and then cancel out of the completed import and then we can go to the lead area and see that our number of leads has increased and our data has been imported successfully.
Going to the detail of one of our leads, we also note that the import source has been populated with the file name of the original CSV file, which you can also use to slice and dice your data. You can now set your marketing team on drumming up business from these leads. So there we are, a great tool for quickly importing simple data lists. Remember to consult the help files if you have any problems. Thanks for watching this C-Logic production.